All right, folks. It's Jester. <laughs> if you didn't know, you're slow. Uh, Jester, the boss here. Uh, Coke caster is Riker, um, aka the annoying dog kicker. Um, don't don't get upset. You know it's only if they're annoying, uh, but they do get kicked. All right, looks like we got a fast load here, and I don't see anyone uh, disconnecting. So let's get it on. All right, we're looking at. We nuke and run, coming out with the Double Guardian, Overlord, Carrier, Battle Cruiser, Leviathan. On the other side, Unwanted, Busted Out, Destro, Double Raven, Void Ray, Battle Cruiser, Leviathan. So, uh, initial reactions. Looks like they might be just kind of cheese here in the middle on the uh, Unwanted side. Not sure what they're doing besides balling up, maybe going to push him back here early. So but they're going to get plagued unless they EMP him. Battlecruiser is a kite There it build. is. I'm getting a mega lag. Oh boy, let me ax this right quick. Looks like we nuke and run, backed off of it, so... That plague, see that after, that plague is to damage to every single ship. You're talking about about 10k worth of damage. That was. It did not work out too well. It was a good idea, but. If the plague isn't there, then it's a great idea. Um, sorry about the lag, folks. Don't know what the problem is. Um, but uh, we'll try to, to do whatever I can to correct. Uh, you've got unwanted going with the push. Uh, Destro is at the 5 armor. Uh, Leviathan, 2 tents right now. Uh, one Raven EMP, other Raven also EMP. And like I said, Battle Cruiser is at the kite. Uh, Void Ray came out uh, with two plasma cannons. All right, we nuke and run. Came out normal levy style. Guardians both went spines. Battle Cruiser went with the uh, kite build. Now this is interesting. Battle Cruiser over here didn't take a long bolt. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> um, Overlord obviously went plague. You just saw it. Well, you kind of saw it work to great effect. I was kind of moving the screen around because it was lagtastic. Uh, so for that, I am sorry. But here we go. Um, Batlin. A uh, little bit of a stop by Jedi right there. He's going to need to get out of the way. Uh, they tried to do a little ball push thing at the beginning. It did not work. Um, unfortunately, they did not gain map control and uh, looks like they are a hundred farm down at this point uh, I would be tempted to say uh, big advantage for we nuke and run as far as the cops go right now but uh, what would you say to that right now yes but late game other than the lockdown they don't have much to deny the void rate. they have vortex but which you can blink out of but with no Raven on uh, Nuke and Run's team, if that where he farms up, he definitely be trouble late game. Alright, so we're looking at Yo down here in the levee for the unwanted guys. Uh, up to his one armor, has added one health upgrade, and uh, not any range right now, but he's got four tents. Uh, moving at 1.6 speed, and uh, looks like one is going to go in for the for the upgrades. As you can see, health is a little bit low on their side. Uh, unfortunately, looking at about a 200 farm disadvantage right now, so probably going to need to make some moves quick. Um, what's your strategy right now if you're unwanted? Uh, at this point, you're pretty much just going to hope you're worrying it farmed up. They are. It's not surprising that they're down about 200 in farm. You do have two ravens in the middle. Uh, the ravens just need to stay on that overlord. Possibly follow their destro, push him out, then shield charge him. Get a little push here, but... At this point, you're pretty much banking on the void ray getting farmed up because they really have no counter to that other than lockdown. Alright, so we see... Void Ray's coming out a little bit deep. Trying to get this farm that's reborn over there with the Void Ray. Um, that's that elite boy. That, that Interesting upgrades in Void Ray. I'm surprised he didn't get blink or, or warp. Uh, yeah. Normally, you can push back like this to Void Ray. You want to get warp, 
I couldn't allow you to go behind them a little bit and base farm. So what do you and what is he thinking right out. now then? Why why would he not do that? Um looks we'll like he's going straight beam right away. Maybe go for a quick kill. But I'm pretty surprised not seeing the blink or the warp early on. So we're getting a little bit of bio swarm range out of uh, Neo down here in the levee. Uh, going back and forth with Tech Meister and the, and the carrier down here. Tech Meister is looking at uh, 106 score right now, while Neo uh, opposite him is at 86. So uh, yeah, it's, it's starting to show pump. that map control. What else do we see uh, really going on here of note? Would you say? Well, definitely the farm is a big problem. This boy Ray is not getting that farm. Uh, that's probably one of the main reasons he couldn't get Blink and Warp is he probably couldn't really afford it. Um, at this point, they are really, really threatened due to the lack of farm. They can't really warp it because they have the two Ravens and the Void Ray is not farmed up, so if they warp track, they probably just get pushed back or lose somebody. And it's not looking for a one to unwanted at this point, but it's not over. Alright, so in these kind of situations, as you see, Demon Slayer up here is is trying to get beast mode. Range 10 on the six vials already. Um, it it can get it can get kind of hard to to play around in the lane with somebody who's doing yeah, that kind of action. Yeah, the Void Ray should also probably be on the carrier side. Uh, Void Ray and Levy. It's not exactly uh, Void Ray's best friend and Levy on the other side. The carrier though, with the lasers, you can count those in somewhat. He has nothing to really counter against the levy. Demon Slayer is at 278 score right now. The next highest is his teammate, uh, Germ X, who's sitting at 170. So, I mean, a levy is going to do what a levy is going to do. Um, how do you overcome such a huge disadvantage uh, when it's a when it's a Leviathan just farming like that? Well, there's not a whole lot you can do about the light then at this point. You could should put the levy at the very beginning probably on the same side as him. They go against each other, do the dime, and the warrior in the bottom, but at this point, uh we pretty much have to do is if they push like that again, just have the void ray try to go but I still didn't get blink or warp though, so the idea will not work. Pretty surprised here. No blink, no warp on the void ray right now, so yeah, probably surprising a lot of people. Uh, alternative strategies going on right now. I mean, this comp in general is going to surprise you. Uh, but you you can't, uh, I don't know, if this was a movie, you'd say something about, like, a wounded animal being dangerous or some crap like that. But <laughs> if this is not a movie. This is G to the boss. So it's kind of just like, all right, well, let's see how this works out. Um, ooh, kind of a rough turn for Jedi right there. He's taking a lot of DPS, um, but he's gonna get out of there. They got two Ravens. Yeah, yeah. shields are happening as well. Yeah, so they've got yeah D Mat on this guy, on, on both of those Ravens, both D Mat EMPs obviously, um, both over 300 uh, for energy right now. But uh, but man, how are you gonna push? You you've. I guess you just need some some aggressive play out of your out of your void, um, but that yeah. probably only works if it's if he's got the necessary abilities, huh? Well, Lago and Germax are doing a great job right now at kiting these uh, this Destro on VC. The Destro is having a really hard time getting on them at all. Now so look at that to that assets for Germax right now, who is the second high farm of the game sitting at level 7 for the assets board right now. Obviously the intent is to is to do the kiting thing and do it. Um, and that's what they're doing. Nut Butter right here uh, playing the BC. A shiny one at that. Sitting at 9 range currently. 3 upgrades on the long bolts. Uh, gonna be... I don't know. Are we, uh, are we having a raven spend all that money on peds? Or it's not really worth it because you got guardians doing the work anyway. Uh, uh, no, not at this point. I would say not. I can see Reborn Chrono Rift, but he's still on the top of that. Uh, see, it'd be much more effective against the carrier of the Chrono Rift. You can just Chrono those ends. I still don't know why Unwanted hasn't 
been switching to the bottom yet. He's currently in the vial, but he doesn't mm. do anything unless you have Blink. Looking at Tech down at the bottom. Uh, probably farm really nice. Let's see what kind of money he's working with right now. Sitting at 311 on his score. He is now the second highest farm of the game. And uh, he's at 10 ints right now. It looks like the Void Ray might finally be going to the bottom here, it's good, which is a good idea. Alright, so as you see, Reborn's got five on his Prizzy. And uh, he's moving he's moving down bottom now. He's got the theme farm going on. Jedi is out here, three on the long bolts, uh, range nine, getting still getting eight up by Guardians. Uh, hard thing to deal with. He's got a tough job right now trying to maintain DPS on a couple guys who have superior range to them and just superior uh, farm and upgrades. Pseudo and the Death oh, yeah. in the middle sitting at 6 on the armor, 1.61 speed. He does have his bots, um, so he's doing what he can, you know, especially because we got D-Mats coming off of the Ravens. Uh, as I didn't even see that, but yeah, Tiger Wing probably ate a whole bunch of uh, plague sandwiches and uh, he's got to go back. Um, Overlord over here, uh, still just plague right now. Uh, movement speed at 1.6325 on the energy. Uh, he'll probably, you know, just use that plague to to great effect unless they can start getting these getting these EMPs on kids. Um, we'll see. Everyone right. really needs to take. Uh take advantage of this moment of them going back to farm up as much as possible. Right, so yeah, you see all of we nuke and run on the way back to the crib. Uh, a couple warp outs for unwanted here. They need to soak up this farm so bad. So bad, gotta soak up this farm, guys. Um, 1270 for score for their team and 2100 for we nuke and run right now. These are normally numbers you see when uh, somebody got murked in the game by now, but we are still at six versus six. So uh, it takes one derp and one decidedly decent focus fire to make things interesting again. If you're We Nuke and Run at this point, what's your mindset? Just play it safe. I mean, they're up about 50% in farm compared to Unwanted. And as long as no one Jefferson dies, they pretty much have this one in the bag, even with that where he gets farmed up. By the time he does, the amount of DPS that Nuke and Run will have is just be too much. That, yeah, that that Acid Spore is at level 12 for Germex right now. Halago has busted out the Blords. So he's got the Brood Lords out there, they're level 2. Um, he's got 350 energy. And he's got corrosive acid, um, as does Germex. So they're looking to merc somebody right now. And here's uh, Unwanted in a full retreat. Um, or maybe not so full. Well, a little bit of a stop right there. And now they're getting the focus on one of their ravens. Gonna have to get over there and protect the raven him. Needs to be transferring him. There you go. All right. So they got that. And they're gonna give a little bit of resistance, but for the most part, be pushed in here. Um, okay, we've got Broodlords involved in the situation now, so, uh, what's your focus if you're on one and trying to crawl back into this thing? Uh, at this point, like I said before, the Void Rage should probably try to go in solo farm, but at this point it might be too much to overcome. Um, they are bridging the gap a little bit here, it's not 50% so much anymore, but a little more of this container will just get back to 50% again. Techmeister has can... Vortex to let y'all know. And uh, Demon Slayer, 14 on the bio right now at that 10 range. Also 11 on his tents. He's a monster. He hasn't upgraded HP any, but he has grabbed 6 on the armor side. So uh, he's a force to be reckoned with. You thinking about Peds yet or no? At this point, yeah, you need some PDs or something to uh, push him back somewhat. Because uh, you have no DPS to counter, all you can really do is counter their DPS with PDs. But yeah, it's not going to help with those ends there very much. 
Yeah, and that's Unknown rough. Jedi is in trouble. He needs to get out of there. Yes, those Ents are at level 12, too. Um, neither of the Ravens did get PDDs yet. Um, Jedi is at 7 for his long bolts, but he hasn't made the step to range 10 yet. Uh, so he's still gonna get he's still gonna get kited. Um, Nut butter is also still at range nine right now, but uh, you've got these uh, got these guardians. Uh, their broodlings go out to go out to twelve, and uh, they can just keep hitting it with stuff. All right, I want it's back into the base, back pushed in. We're gonna take a look at what the monies look like right now. 27 hundo to 15 hundo, so uh, yeah, it's getting it's getting pretty far. <laughs> what's your hope right What's your hope right now if you're unwanted? That uh, pretty much that reborn somehow gets pretty fat here. It looks like he might just be on straight DPS, even though they don't have very much energy denial. Usually that's something you'd want to do if they have double raven, such as unwanted has. Um, but we'll see how it works. As long as they stay alive, I mean, they're still in it with the Void Ray, but he really needs to figure out a way to get his farm up. Like I said, I still think he should go around and try to solo fire at this point and take some risk. No blink right now, still. No warp. Um, it's, it's definitely not getting him caught up as fast as it could. Right now, he's sitting at 313, which is high for his team. But is lower than everyone else on We Nuke and Prime. Exactly. Yeah. No, no, actually, Nova Prime is actually lower. Shout out to Nova Prime with the low farm <laughs> for We Nuke and Run uh, at 229, but uh, still about what would be average for the uh, unwanted guys right now um, as low for We Nuke and Runs. So you've got that going on. Uh, Reborns, I guess he's fighting off some ants right now. Uh, Hopefully he's gonna get out there and, and make some dough uh, while the rest of the guys hold the line because uh, he is he is the hope right now. He See, is another the hope. great thing that I'm um, sorry, another great thing that Blink provides is not just to get away from enemies, but allows him to catch fire much easier, right? Because as you see, he's beam farming, he's stopping, he's shooting the farm with his beam, then moving. Uh, with Blink, you can just blink into the farm and not have to move and stop, move and stop every single time and make the firing more effective. I'm surprised he still has not had that ability yet. Are we looking at a warp trick on Demon Slayer right now? Oh yes, we are. If they have a vortex to nuke, could be GG here if they're, if they're able to get one. He's frenzied right now. There's there's tech. Is, is the tech gonna come out? The tech is going to come out, and that's uh he's got. It's a Destro. Yep. So he's got pseudo in the text. Uh, Overlord is also hanging out in there, um, just you know, keeping him company because that's the kind of nice guy that he is. <laughs> We've got Neo's got to go back um, for unwanted. He's he's hurting in the levee. The Destro's gonna try to escape out of here, but this is tough. I mean, you're talking about BC here. These guardians are doing major damage. 16 on the acid spore for Germex. So he will not he will not be denied. Uh, we also lost Jedi in that skirmish in the BC. Was he inside the Tex or did he just kind of push his luck? Uh, I was at the that. BC had ints on him the whole time. So. Okay. All right. So we're we've got two ships down front once it right now. Uh, I mean, I don't even have to talk about the the farm at this point. Uh, but what we're seeing right now is uh, this the bottom tower is gone. Man, I do not know what this lag issue I'm having is. I'm so sorry. Anyways, uh, bottom tower is gone. And uh, what's your what's your mindset uh, as far as the the outcome of this game if you're unwanted right oh, now? Oh, it's it's pretty much playing for playing for pride at this point. He's got the 15 beam, but still no charge, no blink, nothing really energy-wise useful. Yeah, and he's uh, except for Chrono Roof, but getting heals. He he took a lot of damage right there. He's uh, Neo is yeah 15 four for his HP and six armor. Uh, just just not enough. 
And the great uh, job uh, kind of by the Destros. I mean, uh, excuse me, the Guardians on the run I know for most of that game. They really put their Destro in a place where you couldn't really push him back at all. Yeah, so we see some, we, we see, you know, a little bit of technique out of the boys, you know. First, you know, just had the bully action going, you know, beat him up, shoot him up. Uh, and then it, when it came time to finesse it out a little bit, they, they hopped out two guards and uh, and did the kiting quite well. So a testament to the kind of skill they got working over there. As we see the, uh, the mothership going to go down, or maybe they'll just try to kill everybody off. The, the lords are up to level 11. You know, everybody's hitting hard at this point except for Nut Butter. He's, uh, he's kind of trolling around here. He's got nukes and all that. <laughs> this is... Uh, this is going to be a lagtastic ending to this. My computer explodes in my face. You can't get that fixed, man. Yeah, I know. I don't know. This is like a really recent thing. Like, all of a sudden, my computer just can't do shit. But anyway. Uh, Terminus' trailer. I would like to... Yeah, it's Terminus' trailer's fault. <laughs> um, I would like to uh, extend a thanks to the teams we move and run. And unwanted, uh, good job, you know, out there going at it for the for the Star Battle League. And uh, oh, let me change the thing. Uh, also, to Riker, my co-host, uh, very superior in co-hosting prowess, uh, just unbelievable. Um, might not be as cool as me. But definitely really good at casting. No one's as cool as you. <laughs> really good at casting and, and really good at, at uh at giving you what giving you what you deserve. So uh I don't have a zero versus three thing. I need to fix that. I'm gonna take that off there. Congratulations to We Nuke and Run on the win. This is G to the Boss. Terrence Star Battle League Week One. And this concludes the broadcast. Any issues with it? Talk to someone who's not me. And thank you.